Okay, I have another update on my 5 inch drone build. I, as you can see, mostly got rid of all the yellow TPU printings, which reside in my box here, and some other um, prints that I did before. The current ones, like these, and this, and this and um, if there is interest i will share my tries that i did and uh, first of all the back piece that i had before i um, look this way i needed one with two antenna outputs because i'm going for the Avatar Moonlight kit and I did not like the way that the XT60 plug was facing backwards because when, when you have the battery here and then the cable has to make a loop like that instead of just going down like this to be flat so first I tried something that I found uh, with the antenna but I didn't like the cutouts they have here plus as I said the XT connector is facing the back which is I don't know who made that decision to make it that way maybe they're just copying a design and well first I want to show you this uh, this is one design since I will have the moonlight uh, kit has onboard uh, 4k recording on the drone I will not have to use my GoPro um, camera which the original part from Speedy Go has a GoPro mount for the front so then I printed a flat version without anything on there but then decided to go with a GPS unit so then I printed this one that I found that uses a GPS has a cutout for the GPS that I just uh, didn't do myself and then I tried the different mounts for the uh, for the receiver antenna and didn't like those much either because they're just uh, stuck in there and are holding by well by two tiny screws that go in here and then the screw head goes into this hole here but uh, I just didn't like that so I designed my own and um, but before I show you that these are the designs that I did for the back with two antenna without the cutouts and uh, I had the XT connector on the top but then this one sticking was sticking out too much to from the top I designed this one but it's gonna it's flush and then I noticed I noticed before but I didn't care back then since I'm very 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 picky and I don't even know if you can see it. There is a tiny cap, a uh, gap, not cap, gap here where the TPU print is not as tall as the spacer. So I did print another one with a slightly taller uh, print here. This one came off the printer right now and it has the supports that I will have. To take out and I do love how Cura is making those supports because they come out just so easy let me just pull this here and pull this side out sometimes it's a little strong I have to cut it off and then I have this bottom piece pull 
holds out uh, normally they come out even better than that uh, just one piece here stuck so and that's it and uh, all I copied on this design was the top part here where the XT connector goes in and it has a split oops I'm sorry this is the part that I used on my design just the top part here which has that cut out and the openings for the ears of the XT connector and uh, mine actually prints nicer so this is what I have and now I'm gonna show you what I did on the other thing so I did remade this into this and I'll show you it has uh, six millimeter standoffs and I'm using slightly longer screws oh the whole thing came out um, to have this go in there and then to actually get screwed in the standoffs are four so you can screw it down without having the TPU squeeze under the force of the screw that's why the standoffs are there so that goes in there and then through the hole this gets mounted and I'm gonna take this off and I'm of course still waiting for the other parts that I ordered And you can see how the standoff is sticking out and that that's the gap I'm talking about I mean who would care nobody but me it's really bad sometimes if you are that picky but I think it does also speak for the quality of work that I do with my custom PCBs and designs so let me see this in here. It really goes in a little bit difficult. But thanks to TPU. Actually I didn't clean out this thing. But uh, again, they are hidden now, the strings that were there. Push this down. And I still have a little bit. Well, <laughs> who would have thought? But I mean, really nobody will care about that, will they? And unless something is wrong with this and I have to edit like the holes, I'm not 100% sure of the diameter of the antenna. I think it's four millimeters, but I'm, uh, five, four or five, I forgot. But I will not reprint this for the gap now. It's really pushing it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm 
looking around the phone of course and just goes in here now and screws down there of course I did make the holes a little bigger in the standoffs because they do also have a three millimeter uh, thread in there but I wanted to be able to crack down on it and this is the result there's a tiny gap but I don't care about it's actually my printer not uh, squishing a little bit on the bottom when printing but I think this looks nice this is securely in held in here now not with those two tiny screws that will go through here and I overall like the all black design with the gold color accent and the silver trim on the aluminum uh, my motors are black I did order um, propellers in yellow and black I wanted to put like two yellow on the front and two black in the uh, back but I will probably go with black all around because I will also put some neopixels on here for illumination on the bottom of the arms and I have some cable channels ordered for the cables on the motors <coughs> some people used like electrical tape or cable ties but I wanted as I said I'm picky so I want this to look nice <coughs> and hopefully never crash <laughs> which uh, will be hard because I mean I'm not doing this for racing I want to uh, make videos with it and I will not be racing and uh, so I should be fine after I learn it of course so anyway these are my 3D prints that I'm using. I really do like this. My own design except the holder for the XT60 connector. And uh, if there's interest, let me know and I will share the designs. Oh, these are also 3D printed with TPU, the landing gear, because they were plastic before. And... Uh, of course hard and not that it will make much difference if you come crashing down mostly you will be over grass or something soft I'm not fly this over above uh, <coughs> concrete um, uh, ground or whatever anyway I mean once going down you might break something and whatnot but <coughs> The fun will be also uh, replacing parts, right? I mean, oh boy, it's really a curse to be picky this much. Anyway, this is it. Stay tuned for more. <laughs>